the period of leniency is over. All right, we're at the spot, except one problem. Uh, there's log trucks coming down the road I wanted to go up, and I forgot to reinstall my CB antenna. So I have a different radio in my truck where I can actually, I can hear the CB channels, but I can't actually talk on those CB channels because I don't have the right antenna and I don't want to blow up my radio. So I'm going to go scope out a couple other roads that I could go up to get in the same area I want to be in. And we'll see if there's logging action happening over there. So this is one of the challenges with being out here in the middle of the week because that's when all the loggers are out working. And the fire level just got lowered so they can, you know, do a bit more work than they have been for the last couple of months. So that's the plan. All right, I found a road with no log trucks coming down. So we are gonna run it. All right, got all the dogs collared up. It took me a little longer than usual. We got everybody ready to roll and we're gonna do a little roading. I wanna try to get the dogs, uh, you know, get them, get about 10 miles under them today. So yeah, that's what we're doing. All right, come on, let's go. Gave him the same, I did that two days ago as well, just to start getting them conditioned. So let's see what their feet are looking like. Come here dogs, come here. Come here Rue, let me look at your feet buddy. Let me look at your feet. Looking pretty good. Okay, let's see your feet. Clover, come here, come here. Let's see your feet. Looking pretty good. Bruno. Let me see your feet, buddy. Looking good. Tika, come here. Let me look at your feet, mama. Very nice. Okay, go on. No problems at all. That's what I like to see. What is that? Why are you always eating garbage, bro? Clover, drop that shit, dude. What is that? Some guts? Old freaking bad thing. Okay, get out of there. What are you eating? Oh, you're drinking water. Okay, you're good. You're fine. You can drink. Go on, go Roo, go.
just past a camp, which I was expecting to find a lot of camps up here because it's almost elk season, elk archery season. And very proud of my dogs. They just stayed right in the road, didn't even go and mess with them. And now they are stopping for a little grass snack. You would not believe how delicious mountain grass tastes compared to normal grass. It's much better. All right, so just a little update. Um, Rode the dogs about seven miles so far. Uh, Tika decided to chase a deer. And she talked everyone into it at first, but Rue came straight back to the road, as did Cooley, as did Bruno. So they that was great. They just they knew that it was they were not supposed to be running that, so they came right back. They didn't even have to do anything. And uh, Clover and Tika ran it about 800 yards. Last year, I was pretty lenient on them with chasing deer and stuff because they were young. It's their first real hunting season. But now they are about a year and five months, I think. And uh, yeah, the period of leniency is over. We're gonna be doing some trash breaking this year, my friends. It took them, it took me about 20 minutes to get her back. And I, she wasn't far from the truck and I was calling for her, but she kept running the opposite direction. So I don't know, it always, it's always weird calling them because the, the, your voice starts echoing through all these canyons and stuff. And yeah. So I just gave her some time finally, and she made her way down to the road. And now we're just taking a little break, gonna get the dog some water. And we're kind of just making a big loop through here. And then we're gonna head back home. Tika is really pushing her luck today. She keeps chasing, she keeps running deer tracks and I see the deer tracks and I told her, she just keeps going. You better not, Tika. And unlucky for her, Rue has proven to be very deer broke. So if he's not going, she should not be going. She's really, like again, she's just doing it again. Holy cow, there's a lot of deer around here. All right, time to do another foot check, just to make sure everybody's all good. I hate to blow their pads out before we even get started hunting. Tika, come here, let me look at your pads. Very nice. Bruno, come here, let me see your feet, buddy. Looking good. Come here, bud. And Clover's good. All right, come here, Rue, let me see your feet, buddy. Looking good. Coolie, come here. Let me see your feet, lady. Come here. Very nice. All right, you guys are doing good. All clear on the foot check. <laughs> 